What do you use for X-Wing Objective Ox? A uh, Concussion Missile and Boost Extension. So let's go over to like my standard X-Wing, right? First lasers, boost extension for speed, uh, for recharging all that boost instantly, and then a Concussion Missile for that damage. So let's remove the flagship again. And I'll just demonstrate for you guys who aren't clicking on the, uh, the Plasma Burst guide. Um, let's actually... Um, Nah, nah, we'll just we'll just use the uh, conk missile. Yeah, we'll we'll demonstrate like like a couple of really textbook bow tie runs here. So bow tie run, right? Um, you want to make sure you have good power management. So boost gasping on the way in, saving up a little bit of boost energy. Aim for this this notch here. Pull up. Look at the shield gen, you have all the space to shoot. You can put your throttle to half, whatever. And once you're over the midpoint of the ASD, pull to the front, boost away. If you need to straight line boost because you're not going to boost skipping it, that's fine. Pull back, look for the notch. When you get under the shields, pull up, look at the gen. When you get to the middle of the ASD, pull away, boost towards the front. Doesn't matter where you go, you can go far out to the left, you can go over the middle of the ISD. just make sure that when you come back, you look for this notch. Look for the notch, get under the shields, and this is my third run. Fire burst lasers, fire concussion missile, and that's a dead gen. Couple of notes about power management, guys. Um, whenever I'm boosting away, my powers and weapons, or shields, usually weapons, um, when I get when I start flying straight and I get under the shields, my power immediately goes back to engines. So engines, engines, engines for boost energy, saving it, then I boost skip, away, 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 powers and weapons. I'm flying straight now, power is in engines, power is in engines. And this is the bow tie run, guys. Um, pull up after you get under shields, look at the gen, shoot it, shoot it. Once you're at the middle of the ISD, pull away, pull away, boost away, boost away, powers and weapons, we're away. Look at the notch, powers and powers and engines, under the shields, pull up, shoot at the shield generator, and that's the bow tie, guys. Super, super solid, simple attack pattern. Pull up, pull out, look at the notch, pull up, look at the shield gen. For movement for this, guys, um, this is all about space. So you want to stay above the um, above the ISD's like midsection. It's vulnerable to tractor beam. So you want to stay like, imagine the ISD, right? It's floating on the surface of the ocean and you don't want to go under it because that's where the sharks live. That's where the tractor beams will catch you. That's where the nets will get you, and then you'll get eaten by the sharks. So don't go, don't go underneath. Don't go underneath the ISD. Stay above the surface, right? The reason I didn't get locked by the tractor beam there, you saw it locking, is because I stayed above the surface of the ISD and I pulled up um, so the tractor beams couldn't get a lock on me. So stay above it, stay above it, guys. Um, and then you pull up once you're under the shields and you look at the gens, you get all this space. And this is all about giving you a bunch of space to make your runs. All too often, the main issue I see with objective players at almost every level, honestly, is they don't give themselves enough space to make their attack runs. They, they take angles, like even an angle like this, you don't get a lot of time to shoot. Like, Four bursts seems like a lot, but think about like if you're alone, you can get like how many bursts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Tons and tons and tons of damage. And it's all by knowing, and to simplify it, all about looking for this notch, knowing you got any other shields, and pulling up. Really easy uh, landscape section to just like remember like where you're supposed to go, like landmark, landmark. And that's the and that's the ISD uh, gray ball bow tie, guys. This is the bow tie where you focus on the gray balls. Ooh. And once you're done with that, shoot tractor beams. Just kill the tractor beams. Everything's easier when you're kill when you kill the tractor beams. So right after that, right, three bursts kills the tractor beam. Three bursts kills the tractor beam. And then you and then you can dodge around the entire underside of the ISD without having to worry about tractor beams. So, like, three three bursts, guys. Not not too much damage. Just 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 make sure that you kill those tractor beams. Don't let them murder you. The tractor beams are at the front front corners of the hangar, guys. 
right there and right there. Front corners of the hangar. Blow those up and you will be in a good spot. And then and from there, if you ever if you're ever getting shot, just pull under, pull across, pull over, and then back under. And this kind of movement pattern, you don't have to do it exactly like that, but this kind of movement pattern where you're always going under and then over and then under again makes it really hard to shoot you because you always have cover. People lose track of me all the time at every level. Professionals, Avenger 1 himself can't kill me when I'm on an ISD because of my movement patterns, because, because I go over and then under and then over and then under and over and under. And all that time, I'm doing what damage I can. Right? And even if you're not doing any damage, even if you're focused entirely on evading, your team is doing damage because there's someone that's on you that's not on them. It won't make the difference in every game, but it'll make the difference enough that you'll get better and better at it, at evading, at flying around, at doing that damage, and eventually you'll become a better pilot because of it. And you'll be able to stay in and do that damage um, with enough practice. Oh yeah, that's all I got for the bowtie, guys. Exclamation YouTube for my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. Um, ring the bell, all the things. And check out Scalp Walker's YouTube channel if you guys uh, want some more Squadrons content.